obviously we were keyed up. Uh, we had all gotten the word uh, from General Eisenhower about the importance of our missions on D-Day. Uh, if they succeeded, uh, the war would come to an end much sooner. Uh, if we failed on D-Day, we would have been in deep trouble for several years after that. I was a co-pilot on all my combat missions, and I flew out of England during World War II. And on D-Day, June the 6th, 1944, I flew two missions that day. The first mission was a fairly routine mission. We took off at about 2.30 in the morning, and our target was to be shore installations along the English Channel. We were to bomb them before the men, the, air, the seaborne troops were to land. So this mission went very well with the exception that we thought we were going to be able to do visual ba bombing, but actually at the time clouds rolled in and so we had to depend on a pathfinder plane which used radar and we bombed through clouds. Fortunately, we hit our targets. The second mission that I flew on D-Day came about almost as an accident. My crew were not scheduled to fly on this mission, but another crew needed a replacement co-pilot, and so I was grabbed and I flew on this mission. It was a minor disaster from beginning to end. We actually went over the English coast on our way home about 10 o'clock at night. And as we approached our base, which was called Adelbridge, as we approached our base, our base got word that German fighters Killing us in the dark. When our commanding officer heard this report, he did something that almost everyone thought he shouldn't do. He put out the order to have every light on the base turned on. A lot of the people thought he was just setting us up for a German blitz. Uh, this was, in many people's eyes, a horrible thing to do. But he gambled, and he was right. The German fighters that were tailing us saw all this light, and they thought the lights were turned on so that they would show up in the sky, and our anti-aircraft artillery would shoot them down. So they left us. And they went over and attacked one of the neighboring bases. We landed that night safely. And I'm sitting here today talking to you, knowing full well that if our CO had not done that, put out that order, I would have probably been shot down and killed coming into our base. So this is my little story about D-Day. Oh, I have slipped the surly bonds of earth and danced the skies on laughter-silvered wings. Sunward I've climbed and joined the tumbling mirth of sun-split clouds and done a hundred things you have not dreamed of, wheeled and soared and swung high in the sunlit silence, hovering there I have chased the shouting wind along and flung my eager craft through footless halls of air. Up, up, the long, delirious, burning blue, I've topped the windswept heights with easy grace, where never lark or even eagle flew. And while, 
with silent lifting mind, I've trod the high untrespassed sanctity of space, put out my hand, and touched the face of God. John Gillespie McGee Jr. called this high flight. <laughs>